So now we get to this question 2.36, where they say find I and V O in the circuit, right? So for you to find the current in I, right? You would be tempted to simply it's a very tempting thing to just simply look at this loop, find the equivalent resistance there, add it to this, and then say, actually, let me let me demonstrate to you how you could have done this wrong, right? You could have said, hey, let's look at this loop, right? Which has our source here, 15 volt source, our 10 ohm resistor, Our 10 ohm resistor, our 25, and then the 60 and the 20 here, right? You could have simply said, hey, okay, this is basically what we have. Let's go on and find it, right? And we're going to refer to this as R equivalent 1. So R equivalent 1 is equal to... 60 by 20 over 60 plus 20, which is um, 60 by 20 over 80, which is equal to 15 ohms. And then you could have said that I is equal to 15 multiplied by 1 over 10 plus 25 plus 15. This is wrong. Because there is still even more resistors connected in here. So therefore, this is a whole network. You need to consider the entire network, including this resistor, that resistor, that resistor, and that resistor. So you need to simplify this entire circuit, combine it into one simple loop before you can actually calculate the value of I, the current going through the circuit, okay? So, obviously, that was wrong, right? So, now we are going to consider the rest of the circuit. So, we have solved the R equivalent 1 there. Now, we're trying to find the R equivalent of this side, right? So, first of all, here and here, you've got a 30 and a 50, which simple series, that means it's an 80, right? So, th that means you've got an 80 here in parallel with a 20 and something going on there and something going on there, right? So, R equivalent 2 is equal to 20 by 80 over 20 plus 80. And this is simply 16 because you're dividing by 100. 2 times 80 is 16, 1,600, 16 ohms. Like sometimes you don't need to always punch these things into your calculator. Sometimes you just boop, look at it, you see an answer, right? So, then this now becomes... A circuit with a 24 and a circuit with a 16 ohm and then you've got your 25 here and you've got your 15 here and then you've got your 10 there and your voltage source there right so your 25 and your 15 here give you a 40 and your 24 and your 16 give you another 40. So now you've got 40 and 40 in parallel and we know that if we have two resistors that are equal resistances, I mean, yeah, that formula of ours that says R equivalent is equal to R over N, given that all the resistances are equal. 40 and 40 are equal, there's two branches, so this means our R equivalent 3 is equal to 20, right? 
So then this now reduces to 10, 20, right? So therefore our current I, not I1, just I, I is equal to our 15 volt source divided by 10 plus 20, which gives us half an ampere. Okay, and then now the next step is that they want you to find VO, right? So I'm just gonna pause the video and redraw the circuit. Actually, I can just copy this, select. Wow, okay, there's a lot going on there. I'll just pause it and redraw it. Okay, actually, I'll just there's no need to pause. You got your 15 volt there. You got a resistor there. You got something going on there. You got stuff there. Then you got more stuff going there. Followed by. Come on. Stuff and stuff. Right. So, first of all, we found out that here at the end we had 80 ohms here we had uh, we had a 30 we had a 30 and we had a 50 okay and then we had a 20 and a 24 20 and a 24 and then we had Remember here, we had a 25 and we had 16 here. I mean 15, 15. So 25 and 15 gives us 14. And this was a 10. And we have a current here going in called I. Okay. So this is the circuit that's going on, right? Okay. So... Remember how this reduced itself to 16 ohms. It's supposed to be an ohm. -y. So that was our 16. That was our 24. And we had a 40. And we had a 10. That was what was happening here. So our current here of 0 0.5 we have a current coming in here of 0 0.5 then we have a 40 ohm there and we had a 40 ohm there remember our 24 and our 16 made 40 so this 0 0.5 amps is going to split equally between here and here why equally because um remember this the way when the resistance are, are equal our current splits equally, right? So now we backtrack. Mm, I think blue, right? So now we backtrack to here. To that point, right? Because we know here, 40 goes this side. I mean, uh, 0 0.25 on this side. And 0 0.25 is going this side. Point two five. Okay. So then zero point two five is going through this network that has a twenty four with a twenty with a fifty. With a thirty. So this is our 0 0.25, okay? So looking at this circuit, we now know that we will have a current division 
that's going to happen at this node again. Wow, this stylus really hates me today. Okay. So now we are going to split this current up again, right? So then the current that now goes into our into so I was as I was saying before my stylus decided to die out, right? So as as we as we discussed um on this side we've got a 40 remember here as we said we've got a 40 ohm this side and a 40 ohm this side therefore the current is going to split equally between the two right and we remember that this 40 this 40 ohm is consist is consist it consists of a 24 a 20 a 50 and a 30 like this right so the current is going to travel all the way through here then it's going to reach this point here where it splits up between the 20 ohm resistance here and the 80 ohm resistance there right so then this split means that the current going through the branch that has vo this branch which is going to now be purple right going through this branch our mm, i'll say it, i'll call it i o i o i o is equal to 20 over 20 plus 50 plus 30 all of that being multiplied by 0 0.25 right so that gives us a value of 0 0.005, right? So now we know that going through that loop is IO of 0 0.05. So therefore, to find VO here, VO is equal to um, RI, which is... 30 multiplied by 0. Point, oh, it's supposed to be only one zero. Zero point zero five. Zero point zero five, which gives you a value of half of one and a half volts. One point five volts. And that was yet another long problem. So this is the next problem. It says find R equivalent and IO in the circuit 2.102. Okay, okay. So R equivalent. Okay. So whenever you come across something like this, where the branches are all weird and everything, and things don't look like they're gonna work out, get out your highlighter. I uh, hope you've got like at least three or four different color of highlighter so that you can be able to effectively visualize each branch so that you can see what's in parallel, what's in series, and what's not. So you've got one branch there represented by the yellow. Is that really? Okay, yeah, that is where the branch ends. And then you've got one other branch here. Represented by that purple, and then you got a third branch going on here. Zip, 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 zip. Represented by the red, and just for interest's sake, but not really important, you got a. F oh, I meant nodes, nodes. And that's what you're supposed to say, nodes. Yeah, there's your fourth node. Okay. So now we can start, okay? So we can see that these two are connected to the same nodes, right? I mean to this, yeah, nodes, nodes, nodes. So we say R equivalent one 
is equal to our 20 in parallel with our 80 because writing that whole thing out really gets annoying and if you remember from the last problem um, this is going to be 16 ohms 16 ohms right so and then you can see you've got a 6 and a 12 here so our equivalent 2 is uh, 6 in parallel with 12 uh, 6 plus 6 by 12 over 6 plus 12 gives you 4 ohms okay and then yeah those are the two things that are in parallel so then after that we are going to redraw okay so we've got a 5e there then you got a 15 here then you got r equivalent to and then here you got r equivalent 1 and then between here and here you got your 60 and then back to the classical highlighting okay so here is one node boop 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 mm, orange let's go for orange here is a second node boop boop and just for interest sake here's the third node okay so you can see that R equivalent 1 and R equivalent 2 are in series, right? So therefore, you can add these up to, to make R equivalent 3 is equal to R equivalent 1 plus R equivalent 2, which gives you a value of 20 ohms, okay? And then you can see that the 20, that the 15 ohm, is in parallel with the 20 ohm, which is in parallel with the 60 ohm. Okay, so then we say R equivalent 4, 1 over R equivalent 4 is equal to 1 over R equivalent 3 plus 1 over 15 plus 1 over 60. So 1 over 20 plus 1 over 15 plus 1 over 60. That gives you a value of 2 over 15. So therefore, R equivalent 4 is 15 over 2, which is 7.5 ohms. 7.5 ohms. So now we can find the value of R equivalent, what the question is asking for. R equivalent is equal to 7.5 plus 5, which gives us 12.5 ohms. Okie dokie. So now we can find the value of IO. IO is equal to 40 over 12.5, which is 40 over 12.5 3.2 ohms